Hello, welcome to another Dejanko tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to fire up the uh, development server that ships with Django. Now, this server is great for development and should not be used for production. Um, and the reason why it shouldn't be used for production is because, first off, it's not secure, and second off, it's not up to the performance standards of a normal server. So, we don't use it for production. But for development, it is a great server to have. Um, simply, all you have to do is put a command into the command line. It will run the server. When the server runs, and while it's running, it runs some um, checks on our code in our Django project. Um, sometimes it will let it continue running with some errors, or other times, if it's a bigger issue, it will shut down the server. So that's how we get some feedback on how we're doing coding. Also, <clears throat> um, it also refreshes uh, as we code most of the time. So if we're making minor changes to the code, uh, it will go ahead and refresh. So there's no need for us to shut the server down and you know refire it up. Uh, the only time we do need to uh, shut it down manually and restart it is when we're adding files or removing files. It just doesn't have that ability to track that. Now, let's go ahead and fire up the server and see what I mean. And we can also take a look at what our website looks like. So, to fire up your server, first off, we've got to make sure we're in the directory that contains manage.py. Like I said before, you're, you're going to become great friends with manage.py, and you're starting to see why. So, let's go uh, ls to make sure we're in this, the containing directory that contains manage.py. And now, let's fire up the server. So, we go python manage.py run run server so as it's uh, firing up here it's running some checks and it's running the checks to check the code in our Django project as you see it says uh, system check the identified no issues zero silence now you might see some here that says uh, code it's silence that means they're minor issues and um, it's not going to stop the server from running but um, if you have a major issue, most of the time, depending on what the issue is, the server won't even run. It will kick back an error saying what the issue is. Um, also, if your server didn't run, um, for some reason, at this point, we shouldn't have any errors in our code unless you went ahead and started coding. Um, but sometimes the port's being used. Here, after the colons, are ports. So 8000 is... 8000 port on my uh, computer here that might be being used by some other software on my computer so um, there's a way to run the server um, to get around this port so if you suspect it's a server or a port being used all we have to do is I'll show you just gotta kill my server all we have to do is run uh, sorry python manage.py run server and then we're going to do um, 127.0.01 and then 8001. All right, hit return. And now it's going to fire up on that port. Let's check, does the system checks again? And now it's on that port. All right. Um, if it still didn't fire up, maybe changing the IP address will work. And you can change the IP address to anything you'd like. You get to make it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 with periods in between it and then 8001 or something like that. So let me just get back to where everybody else would be. So I'm just going to do uh, python manage.py run server. And now we're going to go look at our uh, website once my server fires up here. And here's the address where your website is located. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to open up my browser here. Just give me a second. And once it loads, there we go. Run my browser over so you guys can see it. And hopefully, you guys get it. It worked. Congratulations on your first pow Django Power It website or Power It page. And this is what it should look like, all right? <clears throat> if you got this up until this point everything's working great all right so we can keep moving on if you have any questions please leave a comment on youtube or on our website learnpythontutorial.com sometimes this get a little tricky 
uh, trying to figure out the port, so I'm here to help you guys. Um, also, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share the video. We'll see you in the next one.